So yeah, let's do some restorative yoga. Make sure you got your pillows or bolsters, yoga bolsters if you have them. If you have a blanket, grab that. And um, I'm gonna turn on some music here for us. So welcome in, hello everybody. I'm so happy to be here with you. I was looking forward to this class all week. Good, perfect. The song that's coming on right now is actually called Restful Sleep. So that's gonna be perfect for today's class. draw quickly a card here for our class. I love and approve of myself. So you may, that may resonate with you today. Love and approve myself. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. That's a good power thought card to have for today. Go ahead and just sit tall. Let the neck, let the crown of the head lift up. Lift the arms up. Reach the fingertips up. Stretch. Take the fingertips over toward the right. Breathe. And exhale the fingertips over to the other side. So it doesn't matter how you're sitting right now. As you can, I don't know if you can see the way I'm sitting. I'm not even sitting traditionally in type of easy seated pose. So let's do that. Let's. Just take an easy seated pose and shift the fingertips back and forth. We're going to start to get some movement in the spine and then bring the fingertips up over, yeah, over the head, straight up. Imagine you're holding a small hoop. Take those fingertips or the hands up over the shoulders and then we're going to make big circles with the hands, big circles. And then begin to circle the other way. Breathe. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Bring the hands over the shoulders, release down. Feel the blood flow back into the hands. Yeah, doing great. Roll shoulders up, back, and down. Opening the heart, spread the collarbones kind of apart this way. <laughs> See my microphone. Open. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, hands down. Hands down, this is the greatest pose ever. <laughs> Whatever ankle or shin is on top, we're gonna take the other on top. And we're gonna do the same thing. So imagine you're holding a small little ring, like the ring fit, if you've ever played that game. And exhale, the arms up. So now the hands are over the shoulders. Deep inhale, exhale, begin to slowly take those arms in a circle over the body. And begin to circle the other way. I feel like I'm going, yay, this is great. And 
Notice the pressure in your sits bones as you shift the body. Maybe one side feels a little bit heavier as you move through these circles. Bring the hands over the shoulders and release down. Good. Interlace fingers, press the palms out, round the spine. Breathe. Exhale, release the palms behind the body, interlace the fingers. Another option here would be to use a strap or something between the hands if you cannot interlace your fingers behind your body. And release. Ah, good. Let's move into our first restorative pose of the practice. Okay, so the first restorative pose, you can use two pillows, if you like, and a yoga block. And if you have three pillows instead of a yoga block here, uh, you can put a pillow where this yoga block is. And then we're gonna come over here and just rest, just rest on the pillows or the bolsters. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking here in these poses unless you have questions. Thank you for the follow. Polar Nights, welcome. You can close your eyes and breathe. Take in a deep breath. Exhale, melt over the pillows, the bolsters. And we're gonna take the neck to the other side. You can stay where you are and just simply turn your head over for the, uh, for the purposes of demonstration here for me. I'm gonna take this over to the other side. I'm gonna adjust how my bolsters are. It gives me a chance to kind of demonstrate how to set this up for you anyways. That is good. The positive side of things. Always good to stay positive. To look at the positive side of life. So you'll wrap your hands underneath the pillows. Rest your head. Rest your chest. This is supported child's pose.
coming out of this deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Sit up tall. Just notice how this feels in your body. I'm gonna put these cozy, cute little socks on. So this is this is the front and this is the back. Hey, BSG. I know, weren't they so cute? We're in between our restorative yoga poses right now. So if you have anything that you want to grab to make this yoga class, it's a restorative class, even more cozy, like your favorite blanket, uh, your favorite hoodie, or whatever it is, whatever it is, go grab it. And then we'll, we'll just get a little bit more cozy. So I'm putting these on. Look. Oh, that's like they're the paws. It's got paws on the bottom of the feet. That is so adorable. Okay, so I got my socks on. So I'm gonna be a little bit more cozy. So hopefully you have gotten a little bit more cozy too. Oh good, I'm so glad you're doing awesome. It's so awesome. Okay, our next pose is supported single leg forward fold. We need a blanket, a bolster, and a block. And that could be a blanket, a pillow, and a block. So I'll just use this blanket right here. It's a beautiful green blanket. I'll use this pillow right here. A block. And you don't have to use just these things only you can kind of use whatever you want so single leg forward fold have my props right next to me okay place the inside of one foot on the inner thigh of the other leg. So we're gonna, the straight leg, we're gonna bend one knee up, place the sole of your foot on that inner thigh, and then just let that leg rest down and out to the side. Bring your pillow over that straight leg. This is where we just use a variety. You could use a couple of pillows. It doesn't have to be a bolster and a blanket and whatever. You just kind of do what you need so that when you forward fold, you're able to rest all the way. I'm kind of changing my mind here on which one I want to use. Let me use this smaller one. And yeah. The smaller one in the blanket. I'm going to place the bol the block here and then the blanket over the block. Okay. I think that'll work best for me. Get yourself all cozy and set up. If you need more pillows, use more pillows. We're going to stay here for just one minute on this side. I'm keeping track of the time. Just breathe slowly and deeply. All right, we're gonna walk the hands back. Good. We're gonna switch to the other leg. So straighten out that leg that was bent, bend at the other knee, place the sole of that foot on the inner thigh. And 
Once you're situated, bring your forehead down, rest, relax. Your hands can be either on the support that you have or on the floor, your choice. Soften your jaw. Walk the hands back, bring the heart over the hips. Remove the support that you have, the blankets, bolsters, whatever you have. Next pose here is uh, forward fold. So instead of just one leg straight, both legs are straight. And use a couple of pillows, put them up here. If you need to, you can lift the hips up on blocks or bolsters, and we will be here uh, not for long, just for one minute. So make sure you, you've got your, just test out the water, see if it feels good. You'll want to place your forehead on whatever support you have here. So sometimes it feels really good to have a little bit more firm of support underneath the third eye. Now, what might happen is you could possibly have a red mark here afterwards, which is okay. <laughs> I'll probably have a red mark there. Um, or if you don't want that red mark, then you can place just something a little bit more soft on top of that block. So I will add a blanket here, just a little bit more. And let's, let's move into this pose, get comfortable, get cozy. And I'll keep the track of the time. All you need to do is breathe and relax. Coming out of this, taking your pillows away. And our next pose is our, is actually downward facing dog, wow. Coming over to hands and knees. With socks, downward dog is a little bit more challenging. An option would be just to move into child's pose if you're on the carpet. Um, so this would be a modification for downward facing dog and you can place your head on a block or on the floor.
press out of your child's pose or downward facing dog to tabletop. Cat cow the spine. All right, tuck those toes. Send your hips up to the sky. Walk the feet toward the hands. We're gonna be in standing forward fold. If you have two blocks, use them here so that you can rest your head, let your arms dangle, breathe. You may find that you can lower your blocks as you stretch out the body. Feel this stretch in your hamstrings, your glutes. Rest the arms, let them feel heavy like lead. Pressing away from the blocks, away from the floor. Inhaling, half lift. And exhaling. Coming down to the floor into seated pose. Oh, this, this next one's going to be really good. Okay, this next one is supported reclined cobbler's pose. And use, once again, a pillow underneath the body or two. Extend the legs along. Bring that pillow right behind the sacrum. Add one more. Gonna put the pillows a long ways, long ways. And, my pillow just rolled off. That's okay. You can use another pillow or two blocks. So there's two ways to do this. We want this pillow to be up like this. So you can use that pillow that just rolled away. You can use that one as like a cross between there. So this is an option. This is a great option. Or instead of this bolster, holding up this pillow, you can use blocks. Either way is fine, either way works. Go ahead and set your space. I'm going to use this bolster like this. Then come back, bring the soles of your feet together can even cover yourself with a blanket so you can feel a little bit more cozy. This is the softest blanket. It's so soft. And then lay back. So soles of the feet together. This is cobbler's pose reclined. Oops, sorry. And breathe. The hands can be on the belly, they can be out to the sides. Notice if you are tensing any muscles in your body, lower body, upper body, and let the muscles melt. Relax.
Keep breathing. Keep scanning your body and notice if you can relax even more. Deep breath, draw the knees together, rock the knees from side to side, and bring your hands down by your side, and then turn onto one side, and then you'll press yourself up. Good. Awesome job. Awesome. I love these restorative poses. They help us so, so much to recover if we have injuries in our body restorative yoga is the most appropriate yoga to do um, if we are just really sore we maybe we feel like we're coming down with something the best thing to do is rest if you feel like you're coming down with something um, but if you have to do yoga you just feel like you want to stretch the body out restorative yoga is amazing for that Mm. Next pose, wide angle seated forward fold. I'm going to take the legs wide, use lots of pillows, taking legs wide. Yeah. I love this bolster. Look how pretty that is right there. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome back. We are doing wide angle forward fold. So take the legs straight and wide across the body. Maybe you just want to cover yourself up. It's like a little tent, right? <laughs> a tent. <laughs> and grab a block. Place your head down on your pillow or on your block and breathe. And we'll stay here for about one minute. I'll keep track of the time. One more deep breath. Exhale, melt a little bit more. And walk the hands back toward the body. Wide angle, forward fold. I am so grateful. For 
This next pose that we're doing is supported bridge pose. It's so wonderful. Helps, you can just have one block to do this pose. If you don't have a block, a pillow is okay to use. Supported bridge pose. Bringing the feet together, taking the body along the, the length of the mat, so long wise. Loving this supported bridge pose. Very restorative. It's a gentle inversion pose. Roll on down. Thank you so, so much for the follow. I can't read, sorry. Wombat663, thank you. In bridge pose, bring your heels underneath your knees. Bring this block by the body. You can have it on the lowest setting. The lowest setting works great. If it's not enough, you can switch it to the medium setting or the high setting. If you're using pillows, then you could use as many pillows as you want. But it doesn't take much. You can just use one. I'm going to demonstrate using this block on the lowest setting. Deep breath, exhale, press your heels into the floor, lift the hips away, slide the block underneath the pelvis so that the sacrum is resting in the center of whatever support you're using. Start to feel as you rest and relax your body, kind of like a melting of this right below the navel, a melting of like all the tissues here on the pelvis. Let them relax fully. Hands are down by your sides. Tuck your shoulder blades under the body. And I'll tra keep track of the time. We're going to stay here a little bit longer than we have than we did on the other poses. If you want, your knees can be falling in toward the center. If you have another yoga block, you can even place the block between your knees or thighs. Let your arms go where they naturally want to go. So if they feel like they want to go out to the sides, let them. And release. Keep breathing. Taking another deep inhale. 
exhale, begin to press your feet, your heels into the floor slowly, and then grab for that block, slide it out from underneath the sacrum, set the block to the side, lower your spine from top to bottom, one vertebrae at a time. Just notice that blood rushing back in to the back of the pelvis. So we have that pressure there, just moving slowly. Good. If you have a block between your knees, move that out to the side. Stretch the arms over the body, uh, over the top. Extend the legs out. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. And roll over to one side, press yourself up. So awesome, that was so great. Bring hands to heart center, take in a deep breath. You have done amazing today, just amazing work. It may not seem like we did a whole lot, but we did. Getting the body in that, that mode where it's just relaxed, helps us so much. So give yourself a little bit of thanks and gratitude and close the eyes, bring hands in front of the heart, remembering to bring and invite love to yourself and send love out into the world. Bring the thumbs to the space between the eyebrows, remembering to treat ourselves with kind thoughts and think kind thoughts about others. And bring the palms of the hands over the crown chakra. Rub the palms together. Exhale the hands down the body, down the legs and arms. Namaste. know how important you are. You are so important and valuable and the world would not be the same without you at all. So thank you so much for being here and for sharing this time with me today.